these structures were made from weird materials. In 2022, mushrooms weren't just for eating. They were also for insulating tiles to use for homes and construction. A company in Brussels, Belgium, grew the mushrooms using straw and coffee grounds. The company got grounds delivered to them from partner cafes around the country. They mixed them up, added the spores, and after 15 days, the mushrooms are harvested. Not only is this process innovative, but it can cut down on plastic waste. A Belgian habit, um, habitant, he drinks five kilograms of uh, coffee waste, uh, coffee a year. So it, well, it adds up to thousands of tons a year that are mainly being thrown away. So it's a huge potential. The company is working on scaling up production. They hope to one day produce 12 tons of this mycelium a month. If they do, they will not only be cutting edge, but also cutting carbon emissions. In 2022, Hamad Youssef Nizal built this environmentally friendly mud home using his own hands. It took him two years to finish the structure skeleton on an over 8,000 square foot plot of land he bought for about $50,000. For the dome-shaped house, he used mud, barley, straw, ash, and goat hair. In 2018, this was the world's darkest building. It was coated with the new material called Vanta Black VBX2. Vanta Black can absorb almost 99% of the light hitting its surface. The building was part of a display to show how energy could be produced from hydrogen. It was on display at the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. In 2021, wooden buildings made a comeback, bigger, taller, and with an eco-conscious edge. Sarah House of Culture in Sweden reached about 250 feet into the air. Because it's made entirely of cross-laminated and glue-laminated timber, it was one of the tallest wooden buildings in the world. But why go back to old-fashioned wood? According to the International Energy Agency, the cement industry currently accounts for about 7% of global carbon dioxide emissions. The wood that built the Sarah House of Culture came from local sustainable forests. And to cut CO2 emissions from transportation, the wood was processed at a mill only 31 miles away from the building site. Electricity is generated through solar panels, and access energy is stored in batteries that help power other parts of the city. The sprinkler system, an important part of any building, but especially for one made of wood, is powered by renewable energy. In the fight against climate change, Sarah House of Culture demonstrates how old techniques married to new technology may be the way to go. This home under construction in 2021 was called Indestructible. Ryan Palos and his family watched in horror on local news as their home outside Los Angeles went up in flames in 2019. Been several hours now. This is a real experience. Ryan was determined to do something to prepare for the next fire season. After he saw this aerial view of a burned down neighborhood with three homes still standing, he discovered the houses were built with specialized material that won't ignite. So Ryan rebuilt using that same technology. You can see how there's, there's steel, but there's no wood. Lori Fisher, Ryan's architect, explained the technology to Jim Murray. Here's your foam, and then what, what do you do inside the foam? Six inches of concrete. And there's rebar, so there's, yes. there's foam, rebar, and concrete. There is no wood in the structure whatsoever, so there's nothing to burn. It's the most restrictive, fire-resistant, construction possible. From 2018, this caravan was made out of Lego bricks. A full-time Lego builder in Australia made it with the help of dozens of volunteers. Together, they broke the world record for a caravan made entirely of the little plastic pieces. So we've got 288,630 bricks in the model. The 20-week project started in a suburban garage. The recreation of the 1973 caravan not only looked amazing, parts of it worked too. And very importantly, it has to have uh, kitchen supplies, it has to have a functioning bed, uh, it has to have uh, running water, as well as uh, some electricity or at least uh, lights. The entire project costs around $100,000, compared to the $2,000 it would have cost to just buy the real thing. From February of 2024, architects say termites, while destructive to human homes, are very efficient when it comes to building their own habitats. Termites are absolutely incredible at constructing. Uh, they work with very limited resources uh, and they work with materials that are entirely sourced from their environment. 
One thing they do well is build tunnels that regulate airflow and control the climate. Well, one of the fascinating things that the termite mound does is that it maintains a humid internal climate, even though it sits almost in the desert in a very arid environment. After studying termite mounds from around the world, Andrean came up with this design that can be 3D printed and used in home construction. So this is the Meristem wall and it's a project or a prototype we created as a response to the termite research and thinking about how this might act as a facade in an urban environment of a building. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wundell.